Mario does not approve of today's game system. Sorry about that, Mario. Well, hello there, real gamers. Retro Rob here, and welcome to Retro Rob Plays Everything. There are some videos that do much better than others on this channel, and uh, I tend not to do them. But today, today, you're going to get what you're hankering for, at least according to YouTube analytics. And it's this. That's right. It's a television game console video game with 300 games built in. I got this as a gift from my good friend Tom. Thanks, Tom. He knows I love this kind of thing. Um, yeah, it looks looks really interesting. You know, you know what I need to not do. I don't, I'm jumping the gun here. There is a specific order to doing things. You got to start like with troubleshooting. You start at the beginning, and these videos need to start at the beginning. So let's not go out of order. Let's start as we always do with. The front of the box, TV Classic, television game console, 2.8 inch TFT screen. <laughs> Pulled through that one. 2.4G wireless controller X2. That means buy. It's only one more letter, man. Anyway, 300 game in one. Include AV cable for plug and play TV. 300 games built in. Eight plus picket fences. Is it still a picket fence? Yeah, because it's individual pieces, right? If it's not got, if it doesn't have the sharp little things, you know? What, why would I even think it would? I'm going to tell you what I see right here. Trademark, Timu Dents. Mm-hmm. I know where you've been. The back of the box. More TV classic goodness. Repeats the same stuff on the front. They're reinforcing this. Battery. TV console, 3 by triple A. And then here's the interesting one for the controller. Those are those, those are like, um, those are like tiny little, uh, they're not watch batteries. They're thicker than a watch battery. They're a weird battery. But I have some because he uh, gave me some with it because that time he's got his crap together. 300 games built in. And they look... Mm. <laughs> they look ripe for a video. I'm going to tell you what. I think we're going to have a good time with this one. And then we've got your personal game channel on the one side. And uh, let's say on the other side, play anytime, anywhere. Because it's battery operated. That makes sense. Oh, I like the look of this TV, though. It's pretty cool. All right, let's open this thing up. Smart YouTubers pre-open their boxes before they start the unboxing. Really smart ones do little scenes where they cut the stuff that has a little ASMR in it that keeps people hooked. So as we can tell, I'm right down the center like I've lived my entire life. Yep. Keeps you alive, you know. All right, we have two controllers. We don't have a stand. We have two controllers. Mm, this look all right. It looks like they got batteries in them. Apparently he's just being preemptive. So I mean, usually if you got this, there's batteries in there, right? Oh, they're adorable. They're actually not too bad. You know what they did? They put some serious lift on these things. Uh, so it wouldn't flatten out when you're playing. We'll see how that works, but generally that does actually work. Uh, shiny plastic here. Not so shiny plastic on the back. It it doesn't feel amazingly cheap, to be honest. You know, you can tell it's not like high quality football helmet plastic, as we used to call it. But it's not bad. All right. Next, we've got... Oh, is that a USB-C? No, it isn't. It is not. I don't think they make these with USB-C. I think that must be a, a micro cable. Hold on a minute. Ruining the order of this in order to make a point. 
of myself or a spectacle. No, it's USB. There, I can see it right there. Okay, it's a USB micro. We'll get back to that. All right, so we got that. About a three footer, I'm guessing. And then we've got uh, this guy right here, which is a DV cable, and it's of decent quality. Wait. Uh, no, not terrible. Not amazing, but not terrible. This is not tin foil, but it's fairly good. Comes with world's cutest little blue screwdriver. That's adorable. Look at that thing. <laughs> and uh, now, I'm going to fiddle with this thing for like an hour. No, I'm not. But I'm going to tell you this before we continue. I better go find that part I just lost. Pow! There we go. All right. There's a hole here. Put it right there. And then, uh, you're going to be very surprised, I think, but uh, this antenna is purely for show. I know. I know. I know. It's, uh, I know you're expecting it to really do TV, but uh, what the, where does this go? Does it go in here? Where does it go? There, no. I don't see a hole for it. Am I looking right at it? Do I put it here? No. Huh. Hold on a second. All right, I'm following channel standards and making sure to uh, use three different types of batteries in here. Which is absolutely how you're supposed to do this. Note that you can power this uh, through USB as well. So you got a choice you can make here, you know? You don't have to put batteries in it. Except the controllers. They need them. All right, looks good. All right, I'm going to put this together and show you what it looks like assembled. Ready? Oh, just look at it. It's adorable. All right. I just pulled the tab out, which, uh, wait. On player two, I got the tab. Because you can play it, of course, two players. And uh, it just worked. So I think that's kind of cool. Oop, there we go, start. It's got, I don't, it's hard to explain what's up with the screen, but it's got kind of this magnifying plastic on it. It looks really retro, I like it. Hold on a second, let's zoom in a little bit. And there we are. Uh, that screen looks really, really bright. I mean, it looks, honestly, it looks really good. It's about the best of this kind of device I've seen. Um, the sound, unfortunately, this is as loud as it gets. So, uh, you can't play in a super crowded room. You're just not going to hear it. Um, the remote works remarkably well. Uh, yesterday I was testing it out in the kitchen. I was able to walk across the room and still I was able to control it. I don't know how accurate it is at that range, but that's pretty darn impressive. So it means you definitely could just sit back, have this sitting on your desk at work, and totally play it throughout your work day. I mean, uh, during your lunch. Yeah. All right. There we go. You can see a little bit of screen tear, which is pretty common on these. And I'm just going to flip through the pages. And uh, by the way, on the first page, we're definitely going to be doing shark. We'll do about five, six games from here. Um, a lot of these I've seen before. Are there any that are new to me? These are all like... Um, Looks like they're all hack games. It doesn't look like there's anything that's named originally what it was. But that doesn't stop me from having fun. Look at that. Go fish. <laughs> Hammer and nail! It doesn't appear to be a lot of repetition here, though, so... That's good. Anybody catching any? It's IQ Champion. We'll definitely do some kind of racing game. This one looked pretty good. Oh, it's the famous Polar Bat game that we've played several times on this channel. This is actually fun to play. We've got some card games on here. Pretty nice selection, actually. Yeah. Oh, it's a different Christmas game, though. The Farmer. Sunken Ship. 
Blob Man. Oh, there we go. And oh, there's F22. And that's all the games that are on there. We'll play one straight off the screen and then we'll plug it in and see how it records. It's time for Shark. Oh, clearly they were turning the volume. They must have been, uh, they must have had the volume a little bit lower on the menu. Actually, that's not too bad. Much better in game. There we go. And, uh, can I charge? I love this game. It's actually a very nice. This is a very nice version of this. So, what's the original name of this game? Anybody remember? And I mean, on this is a NES hack, so it must have came from somewhere else. But still. No. There's one. Ah, oh, come on. Got him. Did I grow a little bit? Can I take this one on? Nope. Rats! Anyway. What the hell happened there? Anyway, the point of the game is eat smaller fish till you get bigger. And then, be the biggest fish in the ocean. Look at, see how you ate some? Come on. Send me some fish my size. Nothing. Well, this is going to be a long wait. <laughs> I think we better go on. That's right, it's zooming! Hmm. It, it's, it's not letting me fire. What? Wow. I I have no guns. So I guess I'm supposed to just avoid them. Like a vertically scrolling space Pac-Man, I guess. What kind of worries me more is a not that, but a lot of the stuff looks like stuff that I should be picking up, you know? Ooh. But I can't do anything to them. Oh, that's whack. Let's go on. Freestyle Stroke. I'm not the one who made up this name, okay? And uh, basically, it's alternating the A and B button. fast as you can and hopefully I'm gonna beat this guy hopefully oh, he's he's way ahead of me come on come on I can't see. He doesn't have markers, right? Oh, he does. Oh, wait. I'm ahead of him. I'm ahead of him. I think. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. Winner. I'm, I'm just qualifying. If you want to reset and go back to the main menu, just hit this button here. Can't do it from the controller, though, as far as I know. It's Invincible Start Girl. Wait, I think it's Invincible Girl, and you just hit Start. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm not... I have no understanding of what is supposed to be going on. Am I supposed to be knocking out blocks? I always love it when I play a game I have... I... Oh, I can kill myself. I'm not supposed to hit him. I'm not supposed to get him back. I'm supposed to avoid them. Oh. That's right, you can play for hours and not even know what you're doing. Amazing. Alright, I just want to find out what happens if I punch through. Right here. Oh. Right here. There we go. Ugh. Nothing. Absolutely nothing happens if you punch through. What? Am I really going to have to knock out all these? <laughs> yeah, we're not We're not doing that. Still, I like the graphics on this one. It looks nice. Let's go on. It's Snowball. Oh, it's so bad. Which... Actually, if you have kids that have never played this, not bad. When I fill this in, there, I gotta do it that way. And, uh, yeah. That's right, folks. Hours of French action await you. <laughs> uh, yeah. There we go. Almost there, almost there. Winner. Let's go on. Welcome to the Ghost Palace! I have... What? Oh, no. What is going on? Am I supposed to move up? Tell you what, though, that fire... Hey, they're putting fireballs across there, so you should be able to move up, right? That one. Or yeah, just stay here on the bottom and I <laughs> No idea. Oh, you're shooting the stuff that's going across the side while avoiding get it? The the stuff that falls down. This is actually kinda good. <laughs> good. Good. This is Gouda. This is, this, is, this is not a bad game. It's not a great game. But, uh, I, I kind of like it. Ah, there we go. Alright, I think we all get the point. Here's a game with an identity crisis. Metro Mania. Or... When you start the game, it's Metro Mania. Okay, yes, it's probably a misspelling, but look at this. 
Hot Racing. It's also called... It's got a lot of names. I go by many games. Names. N many names, yeah. Not games. Is that breaks? What? 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 This is... Oh, son of a... This is one of those games where anytime you tap into somebody, you instantly die. Which is... Annoying. So, it looks like the first gear is, like, the A button. Nintendo A button, by the way. Uh, and... Then, second gear is the B button. That's what it appears to be. Which is kind of a weird... It... It... It works, honestly. It does work. I'm like, oh, come on, hurry up. Go, go, go! No, no, don't fly off the road! Ah, you bugger. Ah, move it! There. Move! Ah! I'm not going to make it. My feels at 10. Move it! You buggers. Ugh. Let's go on. Alright, we're going to end things with Mars. And we're going to talk a little bit about the controller real quick here. Um, the controller is... It, look, this isn't a pro gaming controller, okay, guys? I mean, it, it, we should know this. You should know that going into these kinds of devices. But, you know what? It's pretty accurate. It doesn't have D-pad collapse syndrome, you know, where the uh, D-pad just kind of pushes in and refuses to move from side to side. And, you know, I press A, I get A. I press B, I get B. I go up, down, left, or right, and that happens. And I think that's really the best you can ask out of this kind of thing. I'm amazed how comfortable this is for such a tiny controller. It's really not bad. Oh, shoot. I just shot my power up. Idiot. Alright. Yeah. Oh, this one gets, uh... What? It keeps... Did you notice that my, uh... Pickups keep disappearing. Ah, there we go. Oh, rapid fire now. Nice. Heck yeah. Yeah, this is pretty fun. Hey, did you notice how stuff keeps disappearing? I don't know what's up with that. Very nice. Attack Alpha Target! We're taking down their alpha. Remember, in space, no one can hear you pass gas. All right, let's wrap this up. And that wraps it for the TV Classic television game console. Well, what do I think of this guy? I'm actually pretty impressed for what it is. The build quality is pretty good. Uh, it has a lot of games on it. They don't... They don't really repeat, although they're, they're hacks and, you know, sometimes they use the same source game, you know, <laughs> but, uh, sometimes they're a little iffy, but I, I didn't play any games that were outright not fun at all to play. Um, oh, other than, uh, there was a Santa Claus game that was pretty, pretty lame that I didn't show you. It was just terrible, terrible. It mm, had some hit detection problems, but there's, there's plenty of stuff, and if you're just looking for a quick action fix, it, there's a lot to like about this game system. Uh, the screen looks really, really good. I'm pretty impressed with that. The controllers actually do work, and they work at a pretty good distance, and that's nice. Not that you ever want to do it on a tiny little screen, but you could hook it up to your TV and then play it from a fairly decent distance. So it looks good. Decent build quality. Nice Visual, the audio is not amazing, uh, but it's passable. So 
gets a thumbs up for me. Anyway, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye!